Annie and today I'm here with my sapphic reading vlog for January. I am super excited about all of the books that I'm planning on reading from this vlog, so let me introduce you to them. First, I would like to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I love it. I just, I know, I know it's going to be good because everyone loves it, so I really feel like I am obligated to read this <laughs> for one of these vlogs, so that is really at the top of my list. Um, it is, I think, told in an interview style about this actress kind of in the vein of Marilyn Monroe if she had lived to an old age and she was like this, you know, superstar and it is about an interview of her telling all of her life secrets basically and it's supposed to be really good, so here's hoping. And then I would like to read The Midnight Girls, which I am very excited about. I just got this as a gift, actually, so I'm super excited about this. It recently came out at the end of December, and it is about witches in like this Polish-inspired fantasy world, and it is an enemies to lovers romance, <laughs> which you all know I love. Um, I am really excited about this. This cover is gorgeous, by the way. I love the colors. I love, like the look that they're giving each other. It's great. Um, yeah, so I'm very, very excited to read this one. And the third one I'm going to read is The Trader Baru Cormorant. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. My copy is somewhere, but I do have a physical copy. Um, I have heard such great things about this book. Everyone I've talked to about it has raved about it. I know I'm gonna like it. I know that there is political intrigue. And that is just what I love. I know that it's supposed to have great world building as well. So, you know, I'm I'm here for that. I really want more SFF sapphic stories. So I am really, really looking forward to this. So I'm not sure what order I'm going to be reading all of these books on, but I am pretty sure that I'm going to start with Evelyn Hugo. So let's go. I'll be back with an update soon. <music> Hello, so I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I could not update you all at 50% because I read this way too fast. I was completely transported to another world with this book. The writing was impeccable. The characterization of Evelyn Hugo is one of the best I have ever read in my life. She felt like a real person. It was just absolutely breathtakingly done. She was so complicated and so fully fleshed out that it's honestly unbelievable that Taylor Jenkins Reid made her up. It was absolutely amazing. And I, it, this book was so emotional. <laughs> Um, it was really, really hard to read at times. Um, it dealt with some very, very difficult topics very well, um, very sensitively, and I, I absolutely love this. I totally understand, like, you guys are not lying. This book is a masterpiece, and of course I'm giving it five stars. It was just absolutely amazing. All of the characters, not just Evelyn, felt so real and like they could have existed at one point and it just it really was amazing <laughs> and i do love the interview format of this book as well i thought it was really well done um i think that the plot twist connecting evelyn and her interviewer was interesting it wasn't my favorite thing in the world but everything else totally <laughs> And the ending, oh my god. The ending was, I kind of expected it, but it was still heartbreaking all the same. I just loved this book so much and I am so, so glad that this was my first book that I read in 2022, starting off strong with a five-star sapphic read. So 
I will now be starting the Trader Brew Cormorant. I am so excited to read this. I have heard that it is very, very painful, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll be back to update you. Okay, so I am about 50% through with this book. <laughs> I am in love with it. I love Baru so much. She's quickly becoming one of my all-time favorite characters. I absolutely love it. Everything about it, I love. I, I have seen people say that it's too slow in the beginning. It's not, like, it is definitely not. It has so much politics and political intrigue and I just cannot get enough of it. I absolutely adore Baru as a character. She is so complex, so 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 sympathetic, but like she does morally great things. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um I also love the sword fight that we got. <laughs> Um, I thought that was amazing and wow, there was just like something that really shook me. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away, but I just want to let you know that this is amazing and probably also going to be five stars. <laughs> wow, what if all three of the books I read in this vlog are five stars? That would be amazing. <laughs> I'll be back to update you when I'm finished. Okay, so I finished the Trader Peru Cormorant and this was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely five stars, no question whatsoever. I cannot wait to pick up the second book. I actually toyed around with reading the second book for this vlog because I'm just obsessed with it, but I am still going to read The Midnight Girls, don't worry. Um, I. I love Baru. She is one of my absolute favorite characters of all time. The ending to this book <laughs> was pain. <laughs> Seth Dickinson makes such bold choices with their writing. It is just, whoa. <laughs> like really blew my mind. I was not expecting the ending at all. 
Peru's character and her growth throughout this story are just absolutely impeccable. If you like the Poppy War and you like Rin as a character, you will like Baru as well. She is just completely unhinged and so awful and I love it. <laughs> and I still want her to be happy even though she's horrible. <laughs> I love this. All of the politics that Seth Dickinson put in there are just amazing. You all know that I love political intrigue in my fantasy and sci-fi. Impeccably done. Impeccably done. The world building was phenomenal. There was a sword fight in this book, which I did not anticipate, and I loved it. Just brew and... Oh my god, okay, I don't want to give anything away, but god, the ending just... The ending really destroyed me. I, I was, like, catatonic when I finished the book. I was like you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> like, I have heard that a lot of people stop reading this series because of the ending of this first book, but I don't know why. Like, I need to read the second book now. It was just, oh man, it was so emotionally devastating. <laughs> so I am not sure if I would call this one of my favorite books of all time. I may, I may. It's definitely up there, definitely up there. If you like A Memory Called Empire, you're definitely gonna like this too. It has the same feel of political intrigue and like a really, really fleshed out world with lots of different players, if you know what I mean, and governments and stuff like that. It's just oh, so phenomenal. Please read this if you haven't already. I feel like it is severely underrated and I cannot wait to read the second one. But before we do that, <laughs> I am going to take a break from the pain of this and read something that hopefully won't be as painful, <laughs> which is the arc that I have of the Midnight Girls. I am so excited for this and I'll be back to update. So I finished putting it together, my TBR cart. This is almost all of the books that I have that I haven't read except for some books over there that I have yet to haul. So I'm not going to put them here because that's a spoiler for my haul video. <laughs> but here I put all of the sci-fi and fantasy that I could fit except for the fifth season. I guess After Love counts as like kind of fantasy too, but and wicked, but whatever. Um, down here is my nonfiction and like other lit fic that did not fit here. This is like historical, contemporary, literary fiction, all that stuff that doesn't really fit in the SFF category. So I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, hello everyone. So I am about halfway through with Midnight Girls and Oh my god, I love it. I really, really love this so far. I absolutely love the two main characters, Marinka and Zosha, and I just love the setting. It is a Polish folklore-inspired fantasy, and the setting is so beautiful and magical and just wintry and beautiful, and I love it, and I really want to be there. And I just, I love it so much. It is so magical feeling. I absolutely love the dynamic between Marinka and Zosha. They are really, really unapologetically sapphic. And I love that. They do, like, this book does not shy away from all of the innuendos <laughs> and just making it really obvious that they both have, like, latent feelings for each other and I absolutely love it. I love the enemies to lovers trope so this is perfect for me and I just cannot wait to finish this. I'm hoping to finish it today so I will be back with another update soon. Hello, I'm here with my final thoughts for the Midnight Girls. 
I think I'm giving this four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. At the beginning, it was a five. Um, I, I don't know. There was something that happened with a side character that I didn't really enjoy, um, and I didn't really feel like was given enough time to fully develop or have the impact that I felt like it was supposed to have. Um, but I still really loved Marinka and Zosha. She, they were amazing and I absolutely loved <laughs> how monstrous they were and I just loved them so much. And I really loved, I think the thing I loved most about this besides the fact that it was sapphic and the two, you know, main characters. I really loved the setting so much. I know I said that before, but like it was just so wonderful, especially to read in the winter. I really, really highly recommend reading this in the winter. And it also snowed last night, although it's disappeared, but well, not, not entirely, but um, so yeah, I highly, highly recommend this book. It was so much fun and it was just like a quick, really captivating and like action-packed read with a lot of emotion in it and I just I really really enjoyed it and I will definitely be reading from this author again. I know she has a book that was her debut called The Black Tides I think or something like that, Dark Tides. So I would like to read that as well and see what else she comes out with. So thank you so much for watching this Suffolk reading vlog and I'll hopefully have another one coming out in February. But until then, like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye!